up what nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's anime nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for ballroom Yukoso, aka welcome to the ballroom season one episode 15 and if you are following along with the manga like i am um where this episode starts is chapter 25 page 15 so yay we, we got an extra line from gaju yay um, and I don't mind that. Um, ooh, the shadowing is really nice in uh, um, Tadaro's face. And you know what? I don't mind that Tadaro's full line about let's do separate training for a bit is just in Tadaro's face. I don't mind that. Um, yay! All the cool colors here. I'm oh my god. <laughs> when Gashi says uh afterwards when he um calls uh Chidatsu a beast it's just fucking amazing and Chidatsu's like who you call a beast that was just amazing um but this part is skipped on uh from page 17 which was uh sorry Chichan oh man the expression on um Tadara's face at the one minute nine second mark is just fucking amazing um and you know what? When we get the flashback to making the girl do all the work you slide boy, I, oh man, that was done so perfectly. It just wasn't, it was freaking perfect. I like that it wasn't just Marisa just standing there. Like it was the exact scene from uh, last week. Like it's supposed to, like, it, it was done really well. It, good job, anime. I'm giving you props for that. All right, let's see. Let's get, let's see what happens next. Kiyohara Senpai. I love him. God, I love this fucking music right now. It is just so sexy. Oh my god. I love the placement of where uh, the opening song is this week. It's just fucking perfect. Like, it's right after Haido Cut. Like, it's right after um, Tadaro says uh, Haido Ken. I was like, perfect. Perfect. And I loved how the song, at the track ended too. For, um the music of the scene i fuck it dude like the i gotta say the um soundtrack for this series has been fantastic or uh, not just fa not fantastic it's been like pretty damn good up to this point but damn this episode really stepped it up like i god like this song this i don't i don't know why just like this music in particular just like just gave me goosebumps like maybe it's just because it's just like so oh man it's just fucking sexy as hell i really really love it like the music throughout the series again the music don't get me wrong the music throughout the series has been really really good like not as good as like say main abyss but fuck the, like this track really stepped up the sound the soundtrack for me i'm very curious what you guys think and this episode is titled Taking uh, the Reins. What? No, what? Okay, so at the top of page 21 of chapter 25, this content was skipped. Uh, Shizuku isn't coming until tonight. It's not like I'm here to see Hanoka. Unusual for you to use the outdoor stairs. Um, I got an observer with me. Um, an observer? Um, and I... Uh... Let me make sure this part was here. Like, why would you skip that? Like, I don't understand. Why would you skip that shit? Fucking A. Like, ah! Okay. Here's the thing I have a problem with. First of all, why didn't Haido, why, why didn't Tadara come in with Haido? Like, you saw clearly Haido Tadara ran into Haido on the stairs, so logic would dictate that Haido and Tadara were walking together. Does that... This... Oh my god. Barmi Yukoso. Uh, anime. I have to tell you this right now. Like, this is my pro... This has been my problem with you for, like, for a while now. Is that... You do stupid shit 
like this. Like, you have the potential to be fucking amazing. But then you pull stupid shit like this and it, like, it doesn't, like, completely ruin the episode, but, like, it just irks me. I'm not going to drop this series. It, don't, I swear to God, you're lucky your animation is really good, Bobo Miyakoso, or I would have dropped you like Shikoku no Altar. I swear to God. Or, like, you're lucky that you're not like, uh, um, uh, Inuyashiki, which I fucking dropped, like, the first episode. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make a video on why I had to drop Inuyashiki, like, because you probably, nerd kids are probably like, why the fuck did you drop Inuyashiki? It's so good. Oh, man. My, my rant, if I would have re finished recording and uploading it, it probably would have been an hour long, and I didn't want to subject you to an hour of me bitching. So, yeah. You will get a video on why I dropped Shikoku no Altar in Inuyashiki. I, it will be a good explanation. So, this part is here, though. Like, the part where, um, uh... Haido says, what did you come here for? And it is on page 23. But the reason why I'm mad is that like, I'm mad is like the anime should have showed Haido coming in with Tadara. It just, it just didn't make sense. Um, I was just, get, you know, dictating logic here. But um, the bottom of page 22 was skipped. The feeling is completely different from um, uh, Ogasawara Studio. Such attentive guidance. Why would you skip that? I don't understand. It's little things like this that get me, that make me hate this anime. It's nothing special with Skip, but I forgot to say. It's my baby. I love Ido. And I said this about Kukumiya before. I, I believe I said it about him um, the past couple of weeks, but I'm going to say it again because I... I really, really recommend you if um, I really recommend you guys reading the manga, especially uh, uh, chapter forty-four, because Kugamiya's backstory is so sad. Like, once you read Kugamiya's backstory, you really appreciate his character more. Because I know right now. The majority of you of you nerdigans watching this probably are um, gonna hate Kugamiya. But, like, for me, I, I'm, I really am sympathetic with this character right now because I know that, like, when he's dancing, he's, da he, like, the only, I'm going to spoil it a little bit, not completely, or I, I probably already completely spoiled it, but I'm going to just say this. Like, the only way he's getting through dancing right now is he's putting himself in this person, he's envisioning himself in this personal hell and it's just just like once you know that that's what he's doing to get through the dance like like once you know that he's in his own personal hell every time he dances like when you see him dance it's just breaking your heart like for me it's breaking my heart watching him dance because i know he's in this personal hell and something i would love to see the anime do um, if the anime is read far up enough in the manga, I would love to see them put a dark aura, like a black red aura around Kugamiya, when, uh, the Kugamiya pair when he's dancing, because that would be really, that would really represent what Kugamiya's, uh, going through, or what, Kug what, uh, what Kugamiya, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. See, or what Kugamiya perceives dancing as, as a personal hell. That's the correct wording for it. So if for those that don't, that really want to understand Kugamiya's character better and understand why I'm so sympathetic towards him, go, and you don't want to read all of the manga, just at least go read chapter 44 of the manga and you'll understand why. And you'll understand why Kugamiya is kind of an ass towards Tadara because I'm going to probably spoil it a little bit for you for those that are kind of lazy and don't want to read manga, even though, ironically, you're reading subtitles anyway, so I don't understand why you just won't read manga when you're reading subtitles. Um, 
is the thing is is when Kugamiya was younger he was exactly like Totara when he first started getting into dancing and the dancing world so to speak or like the industry I would say got to him and like ruined to it the darker side of the industry not drugs or anything like that just like people in general and like ruined dancing for him so to speak and he got into a very deep depression and um and Tadara represents what uh, basically long story short Tadara represents the um innocent side of uh Kugamiya basically like when uh, Tara represents when Kugamiya, uh, um, Kugamiya actually enjoyed dancing and he's envious of it and he hates that Tara can en uh, enjoys it and he uh, and he can't but at the same time he admires Tara for it as well it wasn't why did you word it that way anime it wasn't an injury once it was an injury like oh my god I'm going to, why did you have to put once in there? It was due to fucking Kugamiya jump, trying to kill himself. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Writers, why? Like, this is the one time I, uh, I have to, like, get pissed at wording. Because why would you put that, like, extra word there? It's fucking stupid. So at about the 4 minute 15 second mark, we're going into uh, chapter 26. But I want to talk about the 4 minute 14 second mark. It is just beautiful. Oh my god, like the color in the background is just amazing. And I really love watching Kugamiya dance. I wish, like I understand why they chose that background because it's what Tadara perceives them as. Which I think, so I, I understand that. But I'm hoping at some point we're going to get a darker back uh, color palette for Kugamiya and um, uh, for the Kugamiya pair. Because as I said, Kugamiya sees himself, uh, sees himself, uh, perceives dancing as a personal hell. So anyway, let's get to uh, chapter 26. Uh, but chapter 25, the rest of chapter 25's adaptation was good uh, for the most part. Except for... Um, I didn't like that we skipped uh, Haido walking into the studio with Tadara. That did not make any fucking sense. Like, why would you skip that? That was fucking stupid. It didn't make any damn sense to skip that. And um, I didn't like that we, we uh, had the comparison portion skipped. And I think that was mainly it. But for the most part, it was good. It was just those that stuff being skipped. Just, ugh. But it was okay. It wasn't as bad as other chap as some of the other adaptations that we've got gotten so far. But it could have been a lot better. Oh yeah, and the and them ruining that fucking line just pissed me off. Anyway, let's get to chapter twenty six. Wow, they skipped a lot. Okay, normally I, I haven't been reading like pages that are skipped because my videos would get too long. But I have to here, so. This is when I get mad at anime. All right, so this part was really skipped and it's annoying. Um, hold on, let me just make sure this part wasn't there. Yeah, I have to read. I have to read this content bait that was skipped because I, I feel like it's really important. Um, I didn't realize people like them were dancing so close to us. Wow, amazing! Their breathing is perfect. I can't afford looking away, can I? Forget about chasing after Heidokun and others. In a dance tournament, um, there are so many couples and preliminaries. You never know who ends up in the same heat. Um, sometimes uh, you need to face high-level dancers like this, or like these. As a leader, he has an amazing presence. Um, let's see. Yeah, that part. Yeah, that part was there. Okay, yeah. I don't understand, like, I feel like, I'm trying to think of how to word this. This manga currently has about, like, 
44 chapters right now. I'm not going to count the current chapter that came out because it was cut off short due to the manga's health. So I'm not going to count that chapter because she's going to um, make it next chapter uh, and probably include that chapter uh, next week, uh, next month. So here's the thing. We're in chapter 26 right now. And we have about 44 chapters and we're only in episode 14. Or uh, not 14, 15. And we have like about, I believe, 24 episodes this season. So why are we skipping so much content? Like this doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't understand why we are skipping all this content. Like we could have kept all the content from Tatara in middle school. Like we could have kept like um, the chapter that was basically fucking skipped. We could have kept all that. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, I feel like this anime, it may not feel like it, but to me, based on, based on following, um, you know, following the manga while I'm watching this, it feels like this anime is rushing for no fucking reason. I don't understand why. Hold on, let me just make sure I'm right on the episode count. This episode has 24 fucking episodes. And I have an idea of where they want to go. Like, my guess is where they want to go is um, to the uh, rankings competition. And they want to get to um, Kugami. Like, they want to get to um, the... Uh, the rankings match between uh, Kugamiya and um, and Tatara. I got a feeling that's where they want to go. If they want, but then this is based on you know the opening song, what we've seen. I don't know if we're gonna get the Akira uh, backstory or uh, Akira and Shinatsu backstory or not. I hope we are, but I I just I don't fucking know at this point like what content we're gonna get. Like if we get to if. I'm just trying to remember. Like, if we get to, like, chapter 30, uh, okay. Or, no, we're going to definitely get to chapter 30. If we end at chapter 40, okay, that would be fine with me. But, uh, anime, you got to slow down. You guys really need to slow down on um, the pacing. Because right now, it's just way too fast. For me, anyway. And the line was supposed to be after, um, after being told I was sly. Fucking anime. Ugh! I love Tatara's inner thoughts. It's just perfect. Uh, this was skipped. That face. It's telling me just how bothersome this is right after they finish practice. Oh, my baby wants to dance. Yes, uh, yes, yes. I want to see more Haido dancing because we didn't get to see Haido fucking dancing like we were supposed to. You fucking dumbass anime. We were supposed to see him dance like a uh, couple episodes ago. Mia must, uh, Kugamiya must really hate Haido. <laughs> I forgot, like, if Kugamiya is just emu- Oh, that's right! I remember what it is! Like, Kugamiya, like, has a disdain for Haido because, um, because the, uh, the judges, when he was younger, the judges loved, um, Kugamiya more than Haido because they hated, uh, they liked Kugamiya's old-fashioned style and they were always given a lot of shit to Haido because Haido was being innovative and different. So, like, Kugamiya, you know, he, Kugamiya, res actually, you know, it's not disdain. I should say Kugamiya respects uh, Kiyohara for that reason, that Kiyohara put up with the bullshit from the judges because he was different. That's what I should say. And plus, he, he's Marisa's uh, son to boot. And, um, uh, and, um, Kugamiya has, like, mad respect for Marisa. Because Marisa basically saved him. And no, Kiyo, no, Kiyohara is not gay. Stop it. I know what you, I know you motherfuckers are t on Tobler are shipping Kiyohara and Tadara. Stop it. He's not gay. Stop it. I would have loved to see something I wish they would have done, even in the manga, is put Tatara in heels. I would have loved to see what happens if they did that. What happened if they did that? That would have been so fucking funny. We don't really match as a couple was skipped. And I know this video is long, but I just, 
Ugh, like, I just have a lot to say about this anime this week. So, especially since this is when we're really getting to see Kugamiya. And, um, and plus, you know, um, I've just, especially uh, with this anime being in uh, chapter 26, and it's basically rushing for no fucking reason. It's really frustrating the hell out of me. And, um... And what was the other thing? And I'm going to try and uh, include timestamp, uh, say where I'm talking about in the anime, when I'm talking about the anime. So I'm talking about like the 7 minute uh, 30 uh, second mark. At the uh, 7 minute 42 second, um, how much should I move next with Skip? But I really like, and this is like at the 7 minute 43 second mark, I love how um, the contrast uh, when Kugamiya is, uh, saying, um, or is thinking how, sh uh, um, uh, uh, wait, or when, uh, uh, basically Kugamiya is waiting on, um, Tadara. I thought that was really interesting. Oh my God. So what, um, at the eight minute, 21 second mark, when, um, uh, Kugamiya says, what a loser. He says garbage in the manga, but I love love the color palette it's so fucking nice and also i should have said this before i fucking love kugabia's voice actor he is so fucking perfect i love him and um for those that are ballroom miyukoso uh manga readers is this the voice that you guys pictured in your head this is definitely the voice i pictured in my head when i was reading the manga so i am very happy with this voice actor he's really really good Oh man, the soundtrack at the like 8 minute 37 second mark when you hear the sound of the clarinet. Oh my god, it is so nice. The soundtrack this episode, oh man, out of all um, the episodes this season when it comes to the soundtrack, this is my favorite epi uh, episode. Soundtrack wise, this is the best fucking episode this season. I love it. This soundtrack has been fantastic. I want to know if I'm the only one that feels that way. And yes, I'm a clarinet player. That's why I say that I love, uh, maybe that's why I fucking love this soundtrack, uh, at least this song so much, but it just fits the mood. And like, it especially um, showcases Kukabia's assholeness. I just, oh, I love it so much. Remember that red aura I was talking about that I was hoping they were going to show in Kukabia? Eight minute, 45 second mark? They did it. Thank you, anime. This is what I wanted in Kugamiya's dancing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because, it like, I can feel that Tadara is now encompassed, has, has now become part of Kugamiya's personal hell, and I fucking love it. Oh, my God. So, I got to talk about the 9 minute 31 second mark. I love how you see this contrast between, like, um, Kugamiya and uh Tadara's aura like you see this white aura on Tadara you know like because he's like he has when he's dancing you have this light and with Kugamiya it contrasts with Kugamiya who has like this red aura because as I said he's in his own personal hell when he dances and oh my god I love how it's just like crossing over and it's just Oh my god, this is anime, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And I love the background, how dark and dreary it looks. This is badass. Anime, this is why I will keep watching you, is when you do shit like this. This is what, this is why, I, and you know what? And I'm glad I made this video this long thus far so far and explained the personal health stuff is because this explains it right here perfectly good just anime great fucking stuff i am so fucking happy right now you like i, I will give you a pass on the uh, not all the shit that was skipped but a good chunk of the shit that was skipped i will give you a pass because of that uh, of this right here because this was well done at the nine minute 47 second mark uh this guy is so heavy was skipped this part was skipped at like the 11 minute three second mark um enough of me i need so uh i don't need somebody to praise me saying you're good uh was skipped and you know what i just realized this um another thing why another reason why i think 
Kugamiya also um, likes Tatara and uh, or respects Tatara in a way that he respects uh, um, Kiyohara is because remember how I said um, he respected Kiyohara because uh, the judges didn't like him because Kiyohara was different and he was innovative um, and be, uh, AKA he uh, rebelled against the um, the status quo. Tatara is the same way. Tatara rebels against the status quo. So I feel like um, now, and where we're at, and not here in this episode, obviously, but um, where we're at in the manga, like after, you know, the flashback and shit, Kugamiya um, uh, has gained a respect for Tatara because he isn't uh, the status quo kind of, da uh, kind of a person or a dancer, so... Just, I just realized that. Okay, I'm sorry this video is gonna be long, but I can't let I can't let this anime get away with skipping this content. I have to go over it. And this was after um, uh, Marisa said um, I w I want to see Tadara comes on, on dancing, and this is on page thirty of chapter twenty six. Uh, Chinatsu Chinatsu Chan is a is a shrew, so it may be difficult. Maybe it's too early for you to try taming that mare. And then we don't even get to see Tatara, like, leave and wave uh, to Marisa. He's still waving, that boy. He's dancing better than that uh, the time with Mako-chan, isn't he? His current partner seems to be having a good effect on him. Those two will be incredible if they ever do it. That could have two meanings! That could mean, um, bump and uglies or... You know, going professional. Um, but yeah, that was skipped and that really annoys me. It shouldn't have been skipped. Basically, it just skipped to uh, page uh, 33. So at the 12 minute 39 second mark, we finished chapter 26. And... Honestly... I really wish we would have, this episode would have been the end of chapter, like the last portion of chapter 25 we did, and the rest of chapter 26. Like, that would have been a fucking amazing episode to be, if, if anything. Like, that would have been fantastic, because all, like, they cut so much content out of chapter 26. Like, if they would have had all that content in chapter 26 in this episode, it would have been a fantastic episode. I just, oh my god, I just don't understand. <sighs> Alright, let's, maybe anime will prove me wrong, but right now, I just am really angry at you for cutting all this stuff out. But the, uh, the only thing I will say that I really liked so far from this episode is what you've done, what you did with the Kugamiya dance, the Kugamiya Tatara dance with the, with the color. That was the best, and, and the music. The music is fucking fantastic. The music is the, be the best part about this episode is the music and uh, seeing uh, Kugamiya's dance and having that red uh, aura around him to see that he's in like in his own personal hell um, and uh, Tadara with the white aura. So let's see um, if uh, chapter 27 is going to get a fair adaptation. I, I just, I just don't understand. There's only like 40 four fucking chapters and we have 24 episodes this makes no fucking sense man go go my god like this should have been next week's episode like ah oh. why couldn't you be in next week's episode just why 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 isn't this next week's episode like oh I'm so angry. This this is the 13 minute 37 second mark. I'm confused. This does not sound like Samba. It says clearly this is supposed to be Samba. This is not Samba music. What the fuck anime? You've been doing so great this episode with music and this is not Samba. Like, what the fuck? this wrong and see if I'm wrong and see if this if, 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 I'm so confused hold on 
god, I'm just really, I'm really lost right now. I don't know if this is Samba. It's supposed to be Samba. Yeah, it's supposed to be Samba. What the fuck? This is not Samba music. What the fuck? Everything else is right. Like, the movements match the manga and everything. Just the music is wrong. Like, what the fuck? How can you get the music wrong? It's supposed to be goddamn Samba. That is not Samba music. Like, what the fuck? And this is like at the 13 minute, like 51 second mark. This was supposed to be here. And this is like at page nine of chapter 27. Hey, you can't uh, go in there. Keep up the good work, guardsmen. Excuse us. Only VIP guests or competitors can enter. Uh, was skipped. Oh my God. They even, oh my God. What they, oh my God. You, so at the 13, 56 minute, 56 second mark. What Gaju says here. I'm going to read what Gaju says in the anime, and then I'll read what he said in uh, the manga. Gaju in the anime says, Sengoku-san, your outfit's super sheer up close. In the manga, he said, Sengoku-san's Latin dance is powerful when you're this close to it. You're a fucking pervert. <laughs> well, I haven't a clue why it was skipped. Um, Nero came out. He's so cool. They sort of treat each other like respected um, stars, not rivals. Uh, uh, Sengoku is the only one who's different. Where is he? Uh, this was supposed to be like at around the 14 minute um, 33 second mark. At the 14 minute 49 second mark, he's really cool, but skipped. And I really wish we would have gotten to see... The shot of, um, uh, um, uh, Tolkachev, Tolkachev. And the thing is, I love that they acknowledge that Tol Tolkachev is the biggest Latin dance, um, uh, biggest, Sengoku's, uh, biggest, not only Sengoku's biggest rival, but he's the third, um, uh, he, or he's, sorry, the number three Latin, Latin dancer in the world, so... Yeah, you're not going to mention the Latin shit anywhere else but here, huh? Is that so? And um, he was the world cha uh, champion when I was still an amateur was uh, skipped. Oh, but how Tolkachev is, is animated here. And this is like at the 14 minute 57 second mark to the 15 minute mark. I'll give you props. You did, you did, impro you did this manga proud in regards to him. He is so flamboyant. Oh man, he is so fucking perfect. I love everyone's reaction to him at the 15 minute, like five second mark. It was so perfect. Everyone's faces was just like priceless. Uh, this was skipped. Um, hey Vasily, did you get a flower shop for um, a waiting room? Uh, for some reason, everyone I meet gives me flowers. Uh, was uh, skipped. Um, it just basically went to page 13. 
I'm sorry this video is getting so long, but god damn this anime. Like, between... Uh, this anime is just... A, this anime is really pissing me off, and B, um, I felt like, especially with um, seeing Kukumiya's dance today, I felt like I really needed to go in depth to, um, into uh, Kukumiya's um, backstory. So, I'm sorry this video is getting really long. Uh, this was skipped. Um, Asengoku Pro, um, uh, Pro, this is perfect. Would you pose together for a picture for us? Line up, line up. I want to take a picture of Sengoku and Tolkachev uh, shaking hands. You heard them. Uh, was skipped. And yes, he does, um, he does grab, uh, Sengoku's, uh, balls, but he did, didn't say this. This was completely skipped. But it's not your hand I'm going to shake. I hope we get the reaction that the manga has. I, if we don't, I'm going to be mad. Yes! Perfect! 15 minute, 38 second uh, mark. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Which is the scary. This is seriously scary. I don't get him! <laughs> it's, uh, he, he's been... He needs an adult! Sengoku needs an adult! But we lost some of the comedy! We lost this part here! This was at the bottom of page 14. We lost Gajukun! What?! Hold on a second. Are we not going to see Jive? Oh, I see what happened. You decided to um skip Samba altogether and just use Jive music instead. But that didn't even sound like Jive. It was supposed to be Samba music. <laughs> dancing it didn't because you were meeting the number three latin dancer in the fucking world like why would you just not have sama there and plus you had gaju's comment in the manga about um uh the latin dance i, I just i just don't understand i i just fucking don't i don't get it and plus the thing that really makes me mad because we skipped the drive dance is like you, we don't get to see uh, Sengoku san dance after he's been after he's been uh, he's been traumatized. That's not fair. Like this should have been next week's episode. Like I don't understand, anime. Why are you trying to do so much in one episode? This doesn't make any fucking sense. You have twenty four episodes. You have 24 fucking episodes and you're acting like you are already, um, 12 episode anime. I just don't get it. Can someone explain this to me? Like, we're, and again, we're skipping like a lot of the immediate aftermath stuff and we're skipping a lot of the fucking comedy. And it's really annoying. It's getting me to the point where I want to, um, where I want to drop this series because it's pissing me off that much. And I know I, I've been, I'm so invested in this series already. I can't drop it. I, I just, I can't do it. But my God, like, you skip pages like 16, 17. Like, there's so much stuff that's been skipped here. Goddamn frustrating. I can't stand it. Oh my god, at the 17 minute 37 second um mark, I fucking love it. the image of um uh Marisa uh that <laughs> comes up when Sengoku son says, um, you like older women? Uh or he like um I'm sorry, you like um you like to mature wi women, huh? She's a witch, you know. And I love the the color the uh, color palette and Maurice are just coming up laughing like that shit is just funny as fuck. You're fine taking my stuff down the stairs. Um, was skipped, but I will say this: at least we 
we're getting some of the Sengoku Tatara bonding this episode, but but there should have been next week's episode. Like I'm so I hate this episode. Like this episode was fucking ruined. I'm sorry, this episode was ruined for me by having this chapter here. Because by doing this, they they rushed the fuck out of this chapter adaptation. When if they would have done this next week like they should have, it would have been a way better episode. We would have gotten the a lot of the comedy that was skipped. Oh my god. Like, let me finish this episode and I'll give you my final rant on this. Oh god, this episode was, was bad. Oh yeah, Don't Slack in Your Foundations uh, was skipped as well. And of course, Hotter was saying yes. So the content, and this is at the 18 minute, like 47, 48 second mark. So the content that was skipped a while back that I bitched about, they finally put, they finally had, they're, they're finally showing it. And I'm really happy they are. And where it is in the manga is chapter nine, page 32. But again, this should have been next week. Like all this content could have been next week. Like, what I would have, like, if there wasn't enough, um, content to fulfill, uh, the 20-something-odd-minute, uh, requirement, what they could have done, and I would have been fine with it, was you could have gone to page 20, or uh, chapter 27, uh, page 24. You could have started there, and I would have been fine with that. Like, I just don't fucking understand. Like, my God! Or fuck! You could have no, you couldn't have done it that way. No. Like, I just don't get it. This just doesn't make sense to me. I real as much as happy as I am that this content is here, like all this content should have been next week. And like, as I said, like, if you, if there wasn't enough content, like, if you look at page, uh, chapter 27, page 24, you, we would have gotten the start of, uh, the, um, uh, training with, um, with Marisa, with, uh, um, Tadara and, uh, Chidatsu, and that would have been just fine, like, why didn't you do that? You fucking anime piece of shit. Wait a minute, what? So, you're not going to show, like, even show the rest of the stuff that was skipped? Where, like, Tadara's just, like, running home and shit? Like, what? So, what it's doing now is it's going um, at the 19 minute 45 second mark. We're at uh, chapter 27, page uh, 24, and starting the training anyway. God, this is such a cluster. This episode is a huge clusterfuck. This is just a giant fucking clusterfuck of an episode, and oh my god, I'm just gonna finish watching this and tell you what I really think of this episode. So, we're not gonna have, um, uh, Marisa demonstrate what Tadara's supposed to do, huh? And where that is, is on page 25 of chapter 27, but I do like, uh, the 20 minute, 29 second mark. So we're not going to even mention that Tadara hasn't learned Latin yet. And where that is, is on uh, page 26 of chapter 27. And um, this is like at the, the word should have been is like at the 2020 mark. From the start, you've been raised in a twisted way was skipped at the 20 minute 53 second mark. Like, oh my God. I, I will say this though, like how they showed uh, Tadara's exercises was pretty cool. So this episode ends at chapter, or yeah, chapter 27, like, page, let me just make sure I'm right here. Um, yeah, it, I would say it ends at the end of um, chapter 27. All right, here are my thoughts, final thoughts on this episode. This episode was the worst fucking episode of this season. This was a giant fucking clusterfuck. It did not make any fucking sense. Like, what this episode, this episode had so much fucking potential.
special. It really did. And what this episode did, and this is what a lot of series have done lately, and I don't, and some series I understand, like with Red Eye Boken, with um, uh, um, Berserk, with um, Kakiguri. Like, I understand why some series do it because they only have like 12 episodes in a season. So, and hell, Sugamobo, they only have 12 episodes in a season. So, they have to get as much content adapted as possible. So, I understand why they're doing it. But, Bohem Iyukoso, you have 24 episodes this season. You have no fucking excuse to do this shit. Not only that, there's only, like, about 45 chapters of this manga. And we're at, like, now we're at uh, chapter 28 of this manga. And we still, and we're at episode fi fucking 15. We have nine episodes left. Like, what are you thinking? You put, like, three, about, I would say about three episodes. Or two, th at least two episodes in one episode this week. It didn't make any fucking sense. I'm so goddamn disappointed in you. Because chapter um, 26, or was it 26 in particular? No, chapter 27. Uh, especially the Sengoku competition stuff. The Sengoku competition stuff should have been in a separate episode, period. That should have been in a completely separate episode. I, all honesty, that should have been, like, next week's episode, in all honesty. Um, in regards to, uh, and I would have loved to, and we could have had all the content that was skipped, uh, from, like, previous episodes, um, like, in regards to the Sengoku bonding, we could have had that, we could have had that in that episode as well. Um, in regard, and, like, if we would have, the end of chapter 25 and all of, uh, chapter 26, if that, like, there was so much content skipped. If we would have, if there wasn't enough content there, the portion of, uh, chapter, um, 27 that had them working with Marisa, you could have had that there, and you could have had the rest of the content that you skipped from, uh, from, uh, Marisa's stuff, or the Marisa, um, uh, Chinatsu and, um, Tatara stuff, you could have had that there, and, and, um, uh, in this week's episode, that would have been just fine, I would have been fine with that, and yes, I know you, you might have to retcon some shit, but you can make it work, the problem with this series, and uh, it's been a fucking problem for a while now, I think it, I would say it's been a while since, um, since they, I can't remember what episode it was, but it was, uh, maybe it was since episode 12, maybe episode 13, since the second, uh, um, I, I can't remember what episode it was, but when they fully skipped the chapter, um, I think it was when they, yeah, it was when they fully skipped, um, one of the chapters, um, and I think it was because they wanted to rush so that, uh, like, by, uh, they could have the Tempe Cup stuff done by, uh, episode 12, I believe, I think ever because of that, they felt like th the anime feels like they need to rush, and it's and the pacing has just been so fucked up ever since, and it's really sad because this anime was really good in the beginning. Like this anime was just like prime. I had no complaints with this anime. Like yeah, there was some stuff skipped here or there, but it was really nice and I really enjoyed it. But like this week, this week was a huge clusterfuck. I couldn't believe it. Like, this was the worst episode of this anime that I, I just can't believe it. And it's a huge disappointment. And I'm have, and I know this video is really long, and, but I'm sorry. I have to look, like, some of it was because Kagamiya was here. I, I know I said this earlier, but some of it was because this is when we really get to first see Kagamiya. And, um, because we got Kagamiya's backstory, um, in the manga, um, last month, I felt like it was really important to, talk about it and especially since we got to see in the dancing uh, with Kagamiya and uh Tatara we got to see the red aura which I thought was really cool so good stuff for that um and the other part uh, portion is is a lot of the stuff that they skipped really shouldn't have been skipped like there was a lot of good content being skipped and stuff like this is why I drop series like, I dropped um, Inuyashiki in the first episode because of this. I dropped Shikoku no Altar, um, and this was, like, an episode, um, I think it was, like, episode 11. Hold on a second. Let me, uh, 
no, I don't think I have it anymore. No, I think it was like episode 11 or something like that. I dropped the coconut altar because I just couldn't fucking take it anymore. Because the, I was putting up with shitty anime. Uh, I was putting up with shitty um, uh, animation already. But like, fuck, uh, fuck, I couldn't take it anymore because they just like completely were skipping like really good content. And Bola Miyakoso, I don't want to have to drop you because you're doing this really stupid shit. I really don't, especially since, like, in the in uh, chapter um, 27, or no, was it, hold on a second, was it 27 or 26? It's driving me nuts. I just have to make sure. Especially in chapter 27 when you have all this great comedy with, uh, with Sengoku, and you, you're cutting it all out because you're trying to put all this fucking content in and when you have 20 when you have nine more episodes and you, you have only like 45 cha 44 45 chapters to work with it just it just doesn't make sense i'm just oh my god i'm so angry and so disappointed in this episode this week i'm sorry this video is so long but i i had to get it out uh, uh, it needed to happen this week, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know, uh, like, if, because, especially since, like, based on the views I get on my, um, Ballroom Yukoso, uh, Manga Nerdy Live reaction videos, I'm guessing a lot of you guys are mainly anime onlys, and if you're anime onlys, you guys definitely need to hear it, that this is not how this anime should have been. This anime should have been a lot better than this. This anime should this was this is not how this manga is and and what and it makes me question if the mangaka got sick because of this fucking episode watching it because um the manga this this month was only eight pages because the mangaka got sick before the death well she got sick before the deadline but i wonder like part of me is thinking like i wonder if she watched this episode and got sick because of it like jesus christ like oh oh my god this episode just pissed me off i'm telling you Go read, if, if you want to understand really what I'm talking about, go read chapters, the end of chapter 25, chapter 26, and chapter 27. You'll understand why I'm fucking mad. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my uh, channel expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on uh, Twitter, follow my Twitch channel, friend me on PlayStation Network, all that's in the description box below. And thank God I got my, um, my Mika plushie. I'm gonna, I'm going to hold it for a minute and calm down so I can record the rest of my anime Nerdy Kid Live reactions. Until next time, Nerdy Kids, and I'll be seeing you later. Bye!